Welcome to another podcast of the current situation Manchester United. Now, unbeknownst to me before today, I didn't know that today Manchester United would play their first game in preseason. And they played against um, some side in Norway named Rosenberg. Um, I wasn't expecting us to, of course, play a fully strong side. So, you know, I wasn't expecting us to play the best of football. But regardless of that, man, I wasn't expecting Manchester United to lose 1 0 to Rosenberg. Who is Rosenberg? <laughs> Apart from Rosenberg from Grand Theft Auto Voice City. We ain't even, he's not even a football side. But when you go back, some side, man, I watched the, the highlights because the video from the Manchester United YouTube channel was just uploaded, so I watched the video. How is it that we are getting dominated by some side named Rosenberg? I don't even know if Rosenberg would have even survived in the English Second Division League. I really would. I don't even think so. And they were dominating us in the first half, taking shots at our goal. There was one shot them take. It went lick off of the post. I believe it went off of the crossbar. They were just pressuring us. But we had quality players. One Mr. was starting. Casemiro played. He was captain. Is me uh uh, uh uh Chris not Chris and Erickson. Um Rashford started. Miss Mount started. These are quality, quality players. And we lost one nil. And uh we, they, they they scored against us in the ninetieth minute or the ninety-third minute, they're both. In the in the ninety minute in tonight in the ninety minute bells they're they're on they're on that time. But regardless, man, we can't be losing regardless, even if we're playing with our youngsters, man, we can't be losing one nil to no side named Rosenberg. We try to attack. I've seen the video, not the fullness of it, of course, but reality is if we if we even try to do something significant in the attack, then it would have been shown in the highlights because that's a, that would have been considered a highlighted moment in the game. But it wasn't because we didn't attack them as much as we should. You know, some guy named Dennis from Manchester United took a shot and it was saved. Reasonably good shot, but it was straight at the goalkeeper, so it didn't really stretch him much. But we can't be losing to Rosenberg. I'm not, I'm not flipping out. You know, I'm, I'm, this is not an overreaction. Let me make that clear. But it worries me that we're, we're still not, you know... I mean, even if we're playing bad football, bro, we can't be losing 1-0, bro, to Rosenberg. Really, like, seriously. We cannot be losing 1-0 to Rosenberg. We, we, we really cannot. So I was actually appalled, baffled, and bewildered by the result of Manchester United losing 1 0 throws him. What's up with that, man? We have a big summer, and the summer is, 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 this, is not, this summer is not almost finished, but it's been summer for a good while now. Today is the 15th of July. And if you're in the in, if you're in North America or actually in the states, you know that the summer has been here for quite a month now, isn't me? So that means we have what one month that is August in its entirety and about two to three weeks left. What can we make of this summer transfer window? What can we make of the players at our disposal? What can everything hug? do with the squad can he actually implement his system to the squad he has signed a new contract we're going to see what everything is all about in the upcoming season Varane has left let us not forget that Anthony Martial has left and uh yeah so I mean yeah bro we we need replacements for these players and even if they stay to be honest we still need quality center box anyway yes the light the light is the name of the center box name that i forgot in my i believe my my last two videos when i was talking about we need to sign a different and i was i was thinking of b but the but I, I couldn't get his name but i knew he played for bayern munich and he played for netherlands but yeah if we go sign him then sign him although some persons believe he's like the Netherlands are Maguire, but hey man, if he's quite if 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 the 
if the, if the football board believes that he's a quality center back to bring in, then let us bring him in. Let's do that. Um, so, hey bro, going back to my, my, my main message before I finish this video, man. We can't, even if we're playing trashy football, we cannot be losing 1 0 to no Rosenberg side. There's a lot of. Um, I would like to believe there's a good amount of fans that went to Norway to see Manchester United play, but to see that we lost 1 0 to some Rosenberg side. It's not really paying them dividends, is it? You know, you go spend this big money if you go see Manchester United go play in Norway and then they, you know, they lost the game 1 0, 1 love, and they didn't even get a goal. So, yeah, these are the things we need to work on, man. Um, like I said, this is a big summer ahead. Um, we have to be proactive and aggressive. Like I said, we have one month and at least three weeks to go. And the Premier League, let me say this the Premier League starts in at least a month. It believe, I believe it starts on the 15th or the 16th or the 17th of August. Somewhere there around those lines. Can't be losing to no Rosenberg side, man. Leave, uh, leave your comments below in the comment section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you hit the bell as well so that you can be notified on each upload. Um, yeah, bro. Rosenberg, man. I mean, big ups to Rosenberg for getting the last minute goal against us, but when you're dude, let us break this down because some of you guys probably oh. think I'm overreacting or something, and and maybe in a few cases I am, but I'm just appalled because look, if this was a Real Madrid side against Rosenberg or a Barcelona side, even if even if this is a past Barcelona, is me a pass a Barcelona? One of them is is like Barcelona is at its current age. Isn't it? It's past its peak. It's no longer beautiful. Isn't it? The, the, the chess is no longer developed. It's hanging down like a drawn out bubblegum. Isn't it? That's what it's looking like. Even in the state of Barcelona right now, I mean, Manchester United is about a bit past it. Let us be honest about that. But they would not have lost 1 0 to, to Rosenberg. They would not. Even if they're playing their La Masia players. Real Madrid, even if they're playing their youngsters, they would not have lost 1-0 to no to, to no Rosenberg side. Even AC Milan, the sleeping giant of, of Italy, they wouldn't have lost well, mm -hmm. but I'm sure they would they would have played no more and better football than us. And probably got a goal, although they probably would have drawn the game. Who who's to say? Not playing their strong players or some of their strong players like what we did today. With Casemiro, Mace Mount, Marcus Rashford, Wamisaka and Evans. So I'm not saying that. But again, man, it just goes to show that we can't be losing that easily. Because, dude, man, based on the video, and, and, and I give Manchester United props for being honest in the video. Because some clubs would show the main highlights of what Manchester United did in the game. Of, of what, what the club did in the game again. Versus what other clubs would do in the game, they would have edit that out, but they showed in they they showed the basic mo. Man, my tummy is scratching me. Of what happened in the game, and they showed that in the video that was just uploaded. So yeah, man, we can't do that, man. So let us move on to the next preseason game. Um. I wonder when that game is going to be, but whenever it's going to come, we have to do better in our, in our next game. Um, my fuck, I just noticed I, I, uh, earlier today, I, I, re I recognized, I realized that we signed a striker from an Italian side. He plays for Netherlands, I believe. Young striker, he's 23 years old. Named Joshua something, I don't remember. His last name starts with Z. Um, I believe he'll be the new number and he'll take the number nine from this Whitley Whitley guy playing for Manchester United. Uh uh so yeah we'll see how that go man. Let's move on to the next preseason game. Let us do better. Let us score some goals. Let us have positivity in the side. And with that being said I'll show it to you guys next video podcast and brothers out.